Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV, Baba Bagide Imo TV. I am your sweet food, Mobi Raven Idalawa. What are the major headlines for the national news? Concerning the strike, ASU NEC converges on Abuja today to meet FG. Anti Arab racialized protest in Lagos, demonstrators berate minister. Gunmen kidnap nursing mother, receives 3 million naira. Eight months after abduction, 13 year old school girls marry off to bandits. Airstrikes kill Buba and Fuleni, order is for commanders. Although kidnappers slip off, abducted community leader escapes. And lastly, Rivers community accuses police of hating land grabbers. Now the news in detail. The National Executive Council of the Striking Academic Staff University will meet on Monday night. Sources in the union reveal that after the meeting, NEC members will meet federal government officials later in the week. ASU at last week, Monday declared a nationwide four-week rollover strike after a two-day meeting at the University of Lagos, Apoca. The union said it had no option but to embark on the strike, saying despite meeting with the Minister of Labor and Employment, Dr. Chris Ingege, on October 14, 2021, on issues including allowances of funding for revitalization of public universities and academic allowances, university transparency accountability solution, promotion areas, renegotiation of 2009 ASU FGN agreement, and the inconsistencies in integrated payroll and personnel information system payment, none of its demands had been met. Investigations revealed that as of Sunday afternoon, some members of the ASU NEC had arrived at Abuja in readiness for the meeting. While confirming the meeting to correspondent, the national chairman, ASU, Professor Emmanuel Oshodeke, said if the government was responsive, there would be no need for the strike to last for four weeks. Moving forward to the next story, some members of the All Progressive Congress on Sunday in Lagos protested against the Minister of Interior, Mr. Raouf Arabashola, over his reported face off with a national leader of the party, Ashiwaju Bola Tinumbu. The protest took place in the Alimosho area of the state. The protesters were armed with banners with different inscriptions, such as, We reaffirm Alimosho as Tinumbu's country. We are not ingrid. Ashiwaju remains our man and say no to a bad call. Some of the protesters also displayed and danced with wooden coffins, depicting the end of the minister's politics in Lagos. When contacted, the minister's aide, Bola Ilori, said it could not comment on the protests as both Arifa Shola and Tinubu were its leaders and benefactors. Effort to get Shola Fashuri, the media advisor to Arifa Shola, to react to the protest proved futile as calls to his line rang out while he had not replied to the text sent to him as of the time of filing this report. Some unknown gunmen have abducted a nursing mother along around the area of Abirkuta, the state capital. The nursing mother, Selimat Ajibola, was kidnapped on Thursday evening when she was in a car with her husband. It was gathered that a couple who were about driving into their house when the kidnappers attacked them and made away with the wife. A relative of the victim who identified herself as Aino told Platform Times that the husband fainted after the kidnappers hit him on the head. I know said after the husband regained consciousness, he discovered that the abductors had made away with his wife, leaving behind their maid and the baby. She noted that effort by the police and local vigilantes to rescue the woman failed as they both combed the bushes, but to no avail. A few hours after her abduction, the kidnappers called the family to demand 25 million naira for her release. As the negotiation continued, they reduced the money to 15 million naira. The family pleaded and they later set it for 3 million naira. This almost states, or especially at Degota, is becoming something else. I never thought this could happen to someone close to me. It is very sad. The family went through hell to raise the money. The baby was crying for breast. It was just a harrowing experience. I had not had it. When contacted, the Ogun State Police spokesman, Abi Mbola Oyemi, confirmed the incident. Oyemi said the police was not aware of any money paid to effect the release of the abducted woman. So another story likely 
Eight months after the abduction of 80 students of a federal government college bringing Yehudi KB State, more than 10 of them are still being held by their captives, despite payments of money and prisoner swap at different times. Betty Trust also reliably gathered that no fewer than 13 of the female students were married off to bandits with some of them already pregnant. Bandit loyal to a kingpin, Dogo Dide, ransacked the school on June 17 last year and left with dozens of students and five teachers of the federal government-owned mixed boarding school. Betty Trust reliably gathered that between 11 and 14 of the students are still being held by Dide, with only one of them a male. Also, no one more student of Bethel Baptist High School in Kaduna is still being held by his abductors. Or over seven months after he and scores of his schoolmates were rounded off at night by attackers who killed two security personnel on guard duty. The Detroit recalls that at least 10 schools' abductions were recorded last year as bandit gangs targeted schools in Zamfara, Kaduna, Niger, and Kebi State. The abductions followed the force of such attacks by bandits in December 2020, when a gang led by one hour Daudawa attacked government science secondary school, Kankara in Kasina State, and abducted over 200 students. Another interesting one, the Nigerian military has eliminated Amir Buba Dunfudeni, an Islamic State West Africa Province Eastwalk commander. Nigerian Air Force NAF jets under Air component of Operation Adenkai carried out the operation. Five other top members of the sect were killed in the airstrike conducted over the Sembisa Axis. The disease that Musa Amir Jaish, Mahmoud Maluma, Abu Ubaida, Abu Hamza, and Abu Nura Umaru Leni. Then could have been recruited, indoctrinated Fulanese headmen, and coordinated the deployment of spies as well as tax collectors. An intelligence mission identified active terrorist training camps at Tumbun Karyowa and Tumbun Alura. They were also used as base for firing projectiles against Nigerian army locations in Malum Fatori in Bruno. The aircraft dropped bombs on the targets at Tumbun Karyowa, rockets and cannon at Tumbun Alura. Flying terrorists were eliminated with fighter helicopters. Similar operations was conducted at Parisu and Injimia. Within St. Visa Forest, where three different aircraft bomb bombarded the target, an officer told PR Nigeria. From that state, we go to Ondo State. A community leader in Igasi, Akoko, in the Akoko Northwest local government area of Ondo State, Chief Ojo Ajaguno, who was reportedly kidnapped by gunmen on Friday, has regained his freedom. Paul Metro gathered that Ajaguna fled the kidnappers then after the hoodlums slept off. A resident who spoke on condition of anonymity said people in the community were sad when Ajaguna was abducted. He noted that there was celebration in the town after the news filtered in that he escaped. The victim regained his freedom when the assailant slept off in the forest. The entire Igasi Akoko community was aboard when he came back, he stated. The state police public relations officer, Mrs. Pumelayo Odulami, confirmed the development. The PPRO said, yes, yes, it was reported to us that the victim was abducted, but he came back home safely and we have commenced the investigation into the matter. From that story, we'll go straight to River State that wrapped up the national news this hour. The Rumo Agolu community in the Obiapo local government area of River State has raised the alarm over a possible clash between the youth and the police in the area. The community said a clash was looming because it was disappointed with the way the police had condoned off part of the forest and denied the resident access upon the arrival of some land grabbers who were speculating on the land. The community called on the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, the River State Commissioner of Police, Friday E. Boka and Governor Yesom Wiki to intervene. One of the leaders of the community, Ohuda Wogo, alleged that over 20 police vans had been deployed in the area and that the court were preventing them from accessing their land. Wogo said, land grabbers have been invading our community. There is chaos right now in our community because we have mobilized our youth to guard our land, but the police are hitting the land grabbers. That was the national news from BGI TV. But before we go, a quick recap of the headlines once again. Asu Net converges on Abuja today to meet FG. We also brought to you anti agricultural protests in Lagos. Demonstrators berate minister. Gunmen 
kidnapped nursing mother received 3 million naira for her release. Eight months after abduction, 13 Yahoo school girls married off to bandits. Airstrikes killed Buba Donfulani, older Iswa commanders. Ondo kidnapper slip off, abducted, community leader escapes. And finally, Rivers community accuses police of hidden land grabbers. For more stories on our YouTube channel, the Anu is Baba Bagede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell to enable you have our broadcast watch. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page to enable you access our broadcast as well. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placements of your goods and services, coverage of event and function, the phone number streaming on your screen is the direct line to call. Thank you for watching. I am Mori Rebida Nawal. Good afternoon. Oh, na -na -na. If you want to know what's going on in city, or you want to listen to the latest news and gist, no stress, oh, just into BGI TV. BGI, you're one in a million.